Interest rates really hitting the market today. After the best first quarter since 2019, started the second quarters off to a rough start. Dow down over 500 at its low, S&P 60 points, the NASDAQ 250 points, and yields are increasing as expectations declined for a June Fed rate cut. Just a week ago, the CME FedWatch tool priced in a 70% probability of that cut. That's now down about 55%. Strong eco data sending yields higher, the dollar soaring to its highest level since mid-November, the rate on the 10-year highest since November. Oil prices also hitting a five-month high, adding to inflationary pressures. And the market really is looking ahead to Friday, which will be the March jobs report. ES option data for today, today's expiring 52.30 up to 52.50 puts are very active. And this Friday expiring 52.50 puts, 5,300 calls also very active. At the money, ES implied vol for Friday sitting at about 12.5%. And over the last five trading days, 62% of all the ES options trading have expired within five days. Bitcoin, massive profit taking as Bitcoin dropped approximately 5% in the last 24 hours after it hit a wall up at 71,000 again. Huge liquidations with over $400 million in long positions being liquidated. Micro Bitcoin futures active again here at the CME almost 50,000 contracts today. And other CME data, March data equity index average daily volume, 7.4 million contracts. E-mini S&P 500 options average daily volume increased 10% to 1.5 million from March of 2023.